Lesson 2 The Main Menu Hello fellow game designers, welcome to the Wicked Cat Unity Introduction course. Today we are going to continue to explore the Unity menu bar, with a special focus on the Assets menu. Join us as we explain the functionalities of this menu in Unity. Step 4 The Asset Menu The next option of the main menu is Assets. Here you can do a lot of operations with your game assets. You can create a new asset, like a C-sharp script, import an asset, for example a 3D model, or even export assets in packages. The first option on menu is Create. Here you can create several assets for your game. You can simply create a folder, or you may want to create a script or a shader for your game. You can also use this menu to create an empty prefab, or some visual assets, like materials, QB maps, lens flare and render textures. The next section of the Create submenu regards assets related to animation. You can create animator controllers, animations, an animator override controller or an avatar mask. The next two on the list are the physics materials. And finally, you have the GUI skin and the custom font for your game. The next three options on the Assets menu are, Show in Explorer, Open, and Delete. If you select an asset and click on, Show in Explorer, Unity will open the asset location in your machine. If you don't have any asset selected, the editor will simply open the project directory. With an asset selected, if you choose Open, Unity will open the asset. And, with Delete, the editor will delete the selected asset. The next option, Import New Asset, allows you to search on the Explorer for the asset you want to add to your game. This can be almost anything, a 3D model, a texture, a script, a sound. Once you click on import the asset will be on your project. The next option, import package, allows you to import packages to your game. A package may be a single prefab, or a group of assets. As you can see, there is a list of default assets you can import to your project. You can also import a package you created or download by selecting the option, Custom Package. This will open a window asking you for the package file. The Export Package option allows you to export a group of selected assets into a package. This can be useful if you want, for example, to export a group of assets to use in a different project. Find References in Scene is only active when you have an asset selected. Selecting this option will make the editor search for that asset in your current scene. The Reimport option is only available if you have an asset selected. This allows you to reimport that specific asset. As you may have guessed, Reimport All will reimport all the assets you have in your project. Finally, Sync Mono Develop Project will sync your Unity project with a Mono Develop project. 
This concludes the assets menu. On the next video, we will explore the game object menu. Please, don't forget to subscribe our channel and leave a like on the video. If you have any doubts or feedback, use the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Keep doing awesome games, and have a nice day.